ESCOM says the risk of power cuts is moderate today with the system expected to become constrained in the afternoon, thus increasing the risk of load shedding. Stage 2 blackouts were implemented on Saturday as several units were out of service due to planned and unplanned outages. The Riavaya Bus Operating Company, PO Trans, has announced that it has dismissed striking bus drivers. The 158 drivers were dismissed after they abandoned their buses two weeks ago without explanation. Spokesperson for PO Trans says the majority of bus drivers failed to heed the call to appear before a disciplinary hearing. Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi warned that his country would respond to the beheadings of 21 Egyptians in Libya in a video allegedly released by the Islamic State yesterday. He further advised against travel to Libya. Thousands of Egyptians desperate for work have traveled to Libya since an uprising at home in 2011. The United Nations Security Council has demanded the Houthi militia in Yemen withdraw from government institutions. It further called for an end to foreign interference and threatened further steps if the violence does not stop. The 15 Nations Security Council yesterday unanimously adopted a British and Jordanian drafted resolution on the crisis. Soldiers from a pro-Kiev paramilitary group are heading off to the front line in eastern Ukraine as the new ceasefire offers little comfort to their families. While guns have mostly been silent in eastern Ukraine since the ceasefire started at midnight on Saturday, shelling has not stopped completely and both sides have accused the other of violating the truce.